Building permits are for nerds, losers, squares, and Bob the Builder. In today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to build an off-grid cabin with absolutely no building permits and none of that bureaucracy that the man is putting on you to hold you down. Let's get into it. What you wanna do is start off by reaching out to your local county clerk. Now this is a person who kind of plays like the quarterback or a point guard uh, for your local city and your local region. Not all regions have them, uh, but I was lucky enough that mine did and a lot of the places that I was reaching out to before I purchased my land, they had it as well. You wanna reach out to your local county clerk and ask that individual what your local laws are on building sizes. Now here's something that a lot of people don't know and I'm here to tell you that. The whole secret of this is if you build a structure small enough, it's just considered a shed. You Congratulations, you built the biggest garden shed ever because it's under a certain amount. What that amount is, in most places, it is 200 square feet. Now, with that being said, you can't build something that is 201 square feet. That's obviously not allowed. But you also cannot build something that is 200 square feet. That is not allowed. So if they tell you that as long as you build under 200 square feet, you're considered a, a, a small shed or a large shed for that matter, then you need to build something 199 square feet or less. Now, I wanna protect you guys. So here's a pro tip. Do not try to skirt the laws here. Do not try to build something exactly on 199 or exactly at 200 square feet. You potentially could accidentally build it too large and come into problems in the future. What you wanna do if they say 199 is what you're allowed to build, build something that's about 175. Now what I want you to do is also be smart and think for yourself, okay? Don't listen to anybody on the internet, even if they are extremely tall, dark, and handsome like myself. What you wanna do is protect your own neck. So be sure to reach out to your county clerk and find out what the size is that is allowed in your region. I say that because I got screwed, okay? In my region, I'm allowed to build 150 square feet and under. If I build anything that is 150 square feet or under, or, I'm sorry, not and, if I build anything that is, 100, that is under 150 square feet, it is considered a large shed. So what that means is I'm allowed to build anything that has 149 square feet or below. That is why a lot of you people have been roasting me uh, in the comments and Reddit threads and all that fun stuff telling me that my tiny cabin is a little too tiny. That's the point of a tiny cabin. Bruh. Duh. So uh, that's why I built my cabin at that size. That's the largest size that I'm allowed to build it without having to get permits or go through any of that type of bureaucracy and red tape. So be sure to protect your own necks out there, people. Follow your local laws. Now, that being said, that doesn't absolve you from following any local laws or anything of that nature, okay? There's a reason, by the way, that these building permits and these rules and regulations are in place. You might see things on the news that are in different places where buildings are falling down, uh, all those types of things, that's because the local laws in a lot of different regions aren't as stringent as they are probably where you live. That's the reason that you see to yourself that these, you know, these tragedies are happening out there. These local laws and these permits, they're in place to keep us safe, okay? From years of looking at the way uh, fires start, the way buildings collapse, that is why these laws are there. That being said, let's talk about how you can get around them, okay? So it's not free game, all right, everybody? There are some rules to this. What you build has to be off the grid. You're not allowed to connect to any of the city hookups, whether it be electrical, septic, waste, sewage, all that type of stuff, you can't connect to them. Remember, you're technically just a big old shed. Real quick, if you're finding this video helpful, be sure to hit the thumbs up button. That's the least you could do. Maybe leave a comment. It helps the YouTube algorithm push my content out. Now, if you are gonna hook up to anything like that on the city, whether it be electric, sewage, waste, etc., you should probably seek a professional. You shouldn't do it yourself and you should get permits because you don't know what the hell you're doing and that's okay. Right, So this is only for my off-grid people here. This is the fastest route of getting something up and running. So this structure has to be under a certain amount of square footage, as well as it cannot be connected to any of your local city, uh, water, septic, uh, electric, etc. Because then think of this, you yourself that has no clue what you're doing, you're hiding electrical wires within walls and those types of things, that could get pretty dangerous pretty fast. And that's why those permits are in place. So with that being said, if you follow everything I do here, you reach out to your local county and you allow them to tell you how to build it, this is how you could potentially build an off-grid cabin with absolutely no permits, uh, no hoops and hurdles, and no bureaucracy holding you down. 
Let me know your thoughts. Do you think I am uh, just absolutely crazy for going down this route? Do you think that people shouldn't be going down this route? Are you an architect and you know why all these annoying permits uh, and codes are in place? Or do you think that the government is encroaching on your God-given right to land and to do what you want? Uh, sound off in the comment section below. Also, there are four other videos on the screen right now all about uh, how to make money with tiny structures. So I'm talking glamping, tents, domes, yurts, tiny houses, all of that. And also, I have a ton of videos on buying land and doing that process. So thanks for watching. I'm Jay Esperance. If this video was helpful, be sure to give me that thumbs up.